Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Mexico on the beach. We got a glorious evening here with this beautiful island in the background and a nice sunset. And I just want to talk to you about being your own best friend. You know, when you're going through a really hard time, like we all go through with CFS, it's so important to just really be there for ourselves and to learn how to be our own best friend. You know, we're with ourselves a lot, whether we're in bed or we're just trying to get through the day. And it's really easy to, to kind of beat up on ourselves, you know, and have a lot of self-hatred or self-critical thoughts because we're not able to keep up with everybody else's pace. And because we, you know, may not understand everything that's going on with our bodies. And so I just think it's a really important time to nurture ourselves. There's a book by Cheryl Richardson called Extreme Self-Care. And I think it should be required reading for anyone with CFS because we really need extreme self-care right now. And you know, there are different ways that we can take care of ourselves, not only physically, but also emotionally. And that's just being there for ourselves. When we're having a crash and we're going through a really difficult time, just really thinking, what do I need? What can I do to take care of myself right now? And I found all through the illness, that was a real helpful question for me to ask. If I was running on empty, or you know, you just start to feel that completely depleted feeling, I would ask myself, what can I do to take care of myself right now? And it might mean I just needed to go curl up with a book, or I just needed to go have a nap or maybe do a meditation, or it might mean I just needed to change the activity I was doing and do something that was a little more stimulating and enjoyable, um, or, or have a conversation that was of a high vibrational energy, kind of being positive. You know, this is just to say, be sure to be good to yourself. It's real easy to get into self-loathing and criticism, but you know, we have value, and it's very important to learn to be there for ourselves, because you know, during this illness, it's hard for others to be there for us, even as much as they may want to be um, or they may not want to be. The thing is, we're kind of on this on our own. It's a journey that we have to get through. And so I just want to encourage you, be there for yourself and be your own best friend. Take care, warriors, and remember, life's not over. It's starting again. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know. And it also helps it reach more people that could use some encouragement that might be in some dark places.